Hi, this is a quick demo of the new Linux editor Fed. It's still in alpha stages, but I wanted to give you a preview. If you're a programmer or a developer who likes to get uh, down and dirty in the terminal window, here's a great alternative to Nano. It's available on SourceForge as the Unix name Fed. F E D. Uh, this is some. PHP code that I've been editing in Fed and we have one file loaded in Fed and I'm using the mouse through the terminal program to move the document up and down that's pretty cool but on top of that you can hit control F and scan for something say the word function here you see a list and if you hit the down arrow key you can go to the next one uh, it'll take a little time to update but it finds each one in the document replace is not working yet but it eventually will work and you can hit control A to replace everything be careful with that one uh, by the way even if it says the entire line here it's actually just showing the context of the thing that it found in this case we typed function so it returned the entire line after function control X exits and as you notice this word has been selected control right bracket deselects you can use control right bracket to select areas of text and then copy them to the clipboard there's also the control K command which allows you to cut a line just like in nano you can also do control U to uncut control right bracket a third time after selecting a region deselects all regions there's also a grid select mode but it's still being worked on It'll function similar to the grid select mode that you see in QEdit, which was later put into Microsoft Visual Studio. I doubt the guys from QEdit were given credit. Regardless of that, let's take a look at the syntax highlighting here. I have a custom color scheme that makes the open and close parentheses, as well as the open and close braces, display with a background color so they're highlighted. That way I can see where code begins and ends really easily. If you don't like it, you can change it by editing a file in the lang directory. Uh, each language has its own color scheme and special keywords. It's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job with the minimal set of features that it has. Here we see a comment. Code highlighting is updated on the fly, so you can see how that works. Uh, Fed also has the capability of saving files, loading files, and it's probably important to note that you don't have to save it. If you hit Control Q and you don't want to save it, you can hit Control N to skip the file, and when it gets done with the list, it asks you if you want to quit or go back to the editor. This is a good failsafe for avoiding losing data because you accidentally quit. Anyway, let's quit and let's load up a couple of files say all the files that begin with a certain few letters. It takes a little bit to load. The reason why we're using this slower method of loading files is a fail safe against memory leaks. It might be fixed in the future. Again this is an alpha version. Well here we are in the multi-tab view of Fed. As you can see at the top of the bar there's short versions of the file names. Now unfortunately all the file names I chose have the same similar beginning so you can't really tell which file is which. Perhaps in a future iteration of Fed I'll show the end of the file instead of the beginning but for now it works like this. If you load less files these are wider so you can see uh, the entire file name or perhaps just more of the file name. If you hit control O and control P you'll go previous and next tab. If you look at the bottom here it has a little area that says inbox ajax approve contact PHP. This is the name of the file. Here it's telling us that we're in insert mode. And this is the octal of the files, uh, of the cursor's position, the character of the file that we're currently looking at with the cursor. As you can see, uh, these files are all highlighted and it, you can type into them. It works. Uh, if you wanted to, you could save this file and uh, quit. Let's load a different file here. We're going to load some HTML files. See how that works. 
Uh, Fed has a series of plugins written in PHP that allow you to do specific tasks, special procedures, and generative stuff, as well as do spell checking and some specific features that are unique to Fed. Uh, but actually take advantage of things that are part of the Unix operating system, similar to an extension to Emacs. Here we have an HTML file. Note that it's definitely color-coded differently. Uh, we painstakingly put in all of these special codes for HTML so that it looks pretty pretty much like uh, a file that you would see in another editor. Of course, it doesn't know that these are symbols, and it's not as smart as a lot of editors for Windows and Linux GNOME, KDE, that sort of thing, but it, it does a pretty good job for a terminal editor and it's a little bit more pleasant to look at than a lot of them. Uh, as you can see at the bottom a little info bar comes up and then disappears. This editor is uh, again a replacement for Nano. If you hit F1 you can see all the commands. There's not that many, in fact that's the entirety of the command set. And if you hit A while you're in that window you can see a little bit about the project as well as a quote from uh, Carl Gustav Jung. Uh, there's a little Easter egg in here. If you hit F11, you can play N Invaders made with N curses. So, uh, you see we're playing a game real quick uh, while the boss isn't looking. Yeah. All right, let's hit Q and get out of that. So, if I wanted to, I could edit this file but I wanted to show you some of the features of Fed with a new file. Okay, here we are in Fed. Now if I wanted to see what Fed's command line controls were, briefly, I would type Fed minus minus help. And this shows us a verbose listing, or Fed minus H, just for a quickie. Here you can see all the options. And up here are some more options, including how to set a external plugin path for a user, or how to change the language path. Let's go right back into Fed. I'll show you some of the plugins. If you hit Control D, you'll see the plugins. Now, each one's different, so you're going to have to read the docs on them, maybe even read them themselves. They're written in PHP, but they could be written in other languages, including Born Shell and Python. If we look at what we see on the screen here, the default set. Uh, by the way, we encourage people to write PHP plugins and send them into us. But if you take a look at these loaded plugins, you'll see that there's HTML Tidy, which allows you to tidy up HTML files. We've got Wrap To, which is a way to wrap characters to a certain column width using PHP's Word Wrap. We also have UC Words, which uses the PHP function UC Words to capitalize the first letter of each word in a selection. In order to feed stuff into the plugins, you just type it in or select some text and then hit Control C to copy to the clipboard. And the plugin works on the clipboard only, so you can see the result before you paste it into the file. So there's figlets if you want to change something into a figlet font. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. There's spell, style, which tells you a little bit about the style using the style tool. But you have to have the diction package. Just like for figlet, you have to have the figlets package and uh, this is true for many of them but not all of them there's word count line count look which uses the system dictionary so if you type a few letters in say like ALTR and copy those into the clipboard you can then uh, run this plugin and it will show you a whole list of words uh, possibly more than can even be displayed on the screen that are in the system dictionary let's look at calendar for a minute this runs the cal command and if you just run this with nothing in the clipboard it'll generate a calendar for this year we've got grid which has to be fed some numbers so if you type 10 5 2 2 with a space between them or a comma and then you select them and copy them and run this plugin it'll generate a grid 10 is the width in characters 5 is the height in lines 2 is the number of grid squares and and uh, rather uh, columns and then rows right two by two okay we've got date displays the date acquired with the Unix date command uh, I'm not really sure how useful this is but if you had something like 15 minutes ago and you selected that 
and ran this, it would tell you what day it was 15 minutes ago. But if you said three months, two days, five hours, it would also do that. So it's kind of useful if you needed to think back. We've got calc. Uh, calc will do simple mathematics. So if you did 1 plus 4 plus 10 plus 8, it would, uh, you know, execute that and uh, give us the result. Uh, I wanted to mention, though, that app calc uh, must be installed. We've also got uh, spreadsheet. Spreadsheet's kind of experimental, but basically what it does is you feed it a, a column of numbers and a special uh, operator as the last row in this column of numbers, and uh, it will perform that action. And those operators can be any PHP math function, sum, mult, average, square root, max, find the highest value, min. So it's spreadsheet-like functions, and using the grid select, you can use that to kind of tell you a little bit about the data. We've got units. Uh, units does conversion, so you have to use single quotes, but you would say like single quote, seven meters, single quote, space, single quote, feet, single quote, and copy that into the clipboard, run this plugin, and it would say, oh, seven meters, that's you know, like, you know, 15.89 feet or whatever it would be. Links. So if you use links, you can grab some source code from a URL, but it requires the links package. Links is a text-based browser program that comes with uh, Linux. And what this does is, well, let me give you an example real quick. If you type in HTTP colon slash slash www.sourceforge.net and then select that. Okay, now it's in the clipboard. Now we're going to run links on it. and it gives you in the clipboard the content of that web page so the source code so uh, you can use that to get stuff off uh, the internet uh, whatever it is that you'd like to snarf down um, let's see what else we got uh, strip tags strip tags obviously runs the PHP function strip tags to remove HTML tags from a clip piece of text we've got HTML special cares which converts uh, special characters into their HTML entities and then there's a PHP eval. This is a kind of a dangerous one. It, you know, it doesn't. What what you do is you can type anything in to the editor, copy that selection, and run it as PHP. So uh, if you had some script that you wanted to test or a little bit of PHP you wanted to test out, you could do that and have it echo the result, and you would see the result in the clipboard. We've also got plugin, which does Python. So uh, if you wanted to test some PHP or test some Python. You've got those options. Uh, let me just show you uh, how uh, Cal works. If I want to run Cal, so uh, I have some stuff on the clipboard. See, it says clipboard down here. So uh, what I'll do is I'll hit uh, Control C again with nothing selected, and it clears the clipboard. Then I'm going to go in and run Cal under, and there's a calendar for 2011. You can then paste it, control V, into the text editor, and you've got it. Well, that's the preview of Fed. It's out there on SourceForge. It's got some bugs. Uh, we're fixing them. The bugs are uh, if you use the control K and control U commands, sometimes there's a problem. Also, the other bug is if you uh, paste a grid, that will crash the editor right away. So we're going to work on those two things. Uh, also, Replace isn't installed yet, so it's not quite ready, but we're at version 0.93 as of the day of this video. And uh, we're going to be fixing it, hopefully, within the next month. So uh, it should be pretty much done by June of 2011. should be pretty stable by then. There's certainly some limitations to it. You can read about those in the README file. Thanks a lot.